Now, today's video is going to be dedicated to all the hottest titles coming and announced for Google Stadia in 2020. And while this is my personal list of the top 10 games coming to this platform, I'm sure you guys will have a different story. So please let me know down below what games not on this list you're looking forward to the most and which games on this list you are actually excited for. With that said, let's talk about the top 10 games coming to Google Stadia in 2020. But alright, let's start this off with a bang by smashing that like button and subbing to this channel for all your Stadia coverage and talking about Assassin's Creed Valhalla that will be making its way onto Stadia and is easily one of the most anticipated titles of the year. In Valhalla, you'll be taking on the role of Eivor, a Viking raider who was raised on the tales of battle and glory, who will lead his fellow Vikings against the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. The game is sent to offer a true Viking experience in a dynamic, beautiful open world, with it taking place in England's Dark Ages, and you'll be spanning the shores of Norway to the Kingdom of England. Now, the game is going to be featuring things such as growing your own settlements, raids on towns, and building your power and influence. Now, if all that hasn't hyped you up for this game, I'm not sure what will. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is set to come to Stadia later this year. Now, the FIFA franchise has been a staple in EA's library on a yearly basis and a game that is always highly anticipated. While details on FIFA 21 are scarce, FIFA 20 featured improved mechanics and controls like controlled tackling, better composed finishing on your volleys and long shots, there was improvements all around with the AI and player motion. As it stands, FIFA 21 will continue to improve on those game mechanics. Now, the FIFA franchise features modes like Career Mode, where you take on the role of a player making his way up, or Manager, or even Player Manager, where you can influence on the pitch and off it. You can also be sure that FIFA 21 will be bringing back the Ultimate Team, as well as a host of other modes. Now, typically, FIFA releases on the last Friday every September every year, but I do hesitate to declare that will happen on the Stadia platform. Either way, FIFA is confirmed title making its way onto Stadia, and we should see it this year. Now, Madden 21 continues the famous franchise and will be making its way onto Google Stadia this year, featuring new innovative gameplay mechanics that will offer advanced levels of controls on both sides of the ball. It will be a new stick skill ball carrier system that gives more control to the player. It will also be featuring new pass rush moves, tackle improvements in the open field for more realism and user controlled celebrations. Madden 21 will also be bringing back the career mode, franchise mode as well as the ultimate team. Expect to see Madden 21 this holiday season on Stadia. Now, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is an adventure that has you set in the role of a Jedi Padawan who narrowly escaped the Purge of Order 66 following the events of Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. You're on a quest to rebuild the Jedi Order, and you must pick up the pieces of your past to complete your training, all the while fighting the dangerous Empire and its deadly Inquisitors. Jedi Fallen Order is easily one of my most anticipated games coming to Stadia, and it features cinematic, immersive, souls-like combat, a unique brand new story, and a single-player adventure game that is sure to fill the hunger you have for the Star Wars franchise. Expect to see it sometime later this year. Trust only in the Force. In a world where we can't seem to get enough superheroes, we have yet another title making its way in Marvel's Avengers. An action-adventure game played in third person, you'll be assembling your roster of heroes. The story here is the heroes are celebrating new tech in Avengers headquarters, 
Then that celebration turns deadly, as a mysterious new enemy causes a catastrophic accident, which results in massive devastation. The Avengers are then blamed and are outlawed, and on the run for five years. It's a very interesting story that is sure to bring a lot of intrigue into this new franchise by Square Enix. You can play single player or co-op, and can team up with up to four players online to defend Earth from threats. The game will be receiving story updates over multiple years, so this is a game that has a long-term investment, and it definitely has my interest. Marvel Avengers is set to release September 4th on Stadia. Well, what are we waiting for? Now, Rainbow Six Siege Quarantine has not been confirmed for Stadia yet, and they did take off the Stadia listing that was on the storefront previously. With that said, since there is a decent chance it can come to Stadia considering Ubisoft's full support of the platform, I'll mention it as this is easily one of the top titles that would be making its way onto the cloud platform. Quarantine is a slightly different game in that it's a three-player squad-based tactical FPS that has you facing off against a mysterious threat infecting human hosts and their surroundings. This is a player versus environment game, and not one versus other players, so this is a different spin-off in the franchise. Quarantine is set to come sometime in 2020. Take him! I'll cover you! He's going into stasis! Contact! Head to the extraction point! <laughs> Now another beloved cult classic is making its way into our living rooms with Serious Sam 4 coming this August. In Serious Sam 4, humanity is under siege as the full force of mental's hordes spread across the world and well used Serious Sam Stone are the last line of defense. The game is definitely bringing back its patented mindless gun gameplay that has made the Serious Sam franchise a fun one. Serious Sam 4 will be featuring 4 player online co-op and a new legion system that brings thousands upon thousands of enemies at once to come after you and you the player will have impossible situations that will require you to circle strafe and backpedal blast their way out of trouble and you'll be squaring off against a mixture of new and old iconic enemies like the headless kamikaze, beheaded rocketeer and others. I for one can't wait to blow off some heads with Serious Sam and I hope you guys don't sleep on this title when it comes soon. Now Watch Dogs Legion will be making its way onto the Stadia platform this year and is set to take place in a fictionalized representation of London. A branch of hackers called DeadSec are trying to combat an authoritarian regime that has taken control of the United Kingdom. In Legion you'll be making your way through an open world with the ability to play and take control of multiple characters that you recruit across London to hopefully create a unique team that can liberate the city. The interesting part here is you can permanently lose these characters in your playthrough who can all have special unique abilities that can suit your team. The game is also going to be featuring online co-op play with up to 4 players. This is a game that I'm highly anticipating and personally one that I think you guys will enjoy when it comes out on Stadia later this year. Now, Boulder's Gate 3 is set to be a unique RPG adventure that this platform is desperately missing, and one that is sure to garner lots of attention. In Boulder's Gate 3, mysterious abilities are awakening inside you drawn from a Mind Flayer parasite planted in your brain. You can either embrace and become the ultimate evil, or resist and turn the darkness against itself. It's a game that is sure to give you a plethora of choices and decisions that will be unique from anyone else's playthrough. The game does feature turn-based combat set in the D&D rule set with the ability to pause time around you allowing you to make strategic choices. It will also feature online multiplayer with up to 4 players who can join in and help you with your quests or follow up on their own agendas. Boulder's Gate is also set to have exclusive Stadia features like Crowd Choice, where you the viewer controls what the streamer and content creator do, and possible hints of even stream connect with the multiplayer aspect. This easily has to be one of the most anticipated titles set to make its way onto the platform, 
and one that I hope is on your radar. But with all that said, while this is my top 10 most exciting AAA titles coming to Stadia this year, I fully expect this to evolve in the coming months. Stadia is just starting to set its feet in the gaming world, and we're about to embark on a fun ride. So be sure to let me know which games on this list you are most excited for, and which games are missing that you are highly anticipating. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell, and like always, I'm Sunny. And I'll see you in the clouds.